first three days of or a practice coach under on, under your belt, what's been your first impressions of this bunch uh, since you've been working with them together? Uh, they are uh, we're a better ball handling team. Uh, our depth is much better on the perimeter, and we, we have a chance to be outstanding rebound team with, with uh, Ghani and Zach. People have talked about Derek. I think Brad Sheen as well as Daniel Miller have been the uh, most pleasant surprise in practice so far. Um, what's your objective the first weekend, these first? You do two days on Saturday and Sunday. You've had... Well, I guess six practices in the book in the books now. What are you What are you trying to do these first few practices typically? Establish a defensive mindset, establish a rebounding mindset, and finally establish a mindset that we're not going to turn the basketball over. Okay? We, we do those three things well. We take care of the basketball, we do rebounding, we do defending. Well. Then our offensive talent has a chance to, to really help our basketball team. Um, obviously, people are going to want to know about your freshman class, and particularly Derek Favors. How has he impressed you these first few days? Uh, you know, he, he's a guy that just plays hard, doesn't say much uh, in the way of reaction. He talks on the court well defensively, but you know, he's a guy that just continues to he plays through fouls, he plays through contact, and just continues to get through the next play. Anybody else in that freshman group that has uh, has impressed you so far? Uh, Daniel Miller and Mufon, you both of you guys have been very, very impressive. Mufon has uh, shown some great leadership and athleticism. And uh, how, how so with Daniel? Uh, rebound the ball well, rebound the ball well, and scoring around the basket. Uh, he's done a great job in weight room. He's picked up about 15, 20 pounds. Uh, Got to give Scott McDonald a lot of credit. And uh, he's playing at about 257. Right now. I think eventually I could, you could probably see Daniel get up about 265, 270, and carry it well. Um, have they um, have they taken to your off-season program, the strength and conditioning, pickup games, and individual instruction? How have they prepared themselves for these practices? Well, again, in terms of the, the weight training program, you got to give Scott McDonald and, uh, and his staff a lot of credit. Scott, in particular, he works so well with our guys. Uh, the individual structure, we've seen some good carryover, especially in the case of Derek Favre. We've seen a lot of good carryover in terms of what he's doing in the low post and how he's scoring in various ways. Amongst your veteran players, anybody taking a significant leap uh, in the offseason in your mind? Uh, you know, they, they've all shown great improvement. I love what I see out of Zach Peacock. He's healthy this year. His knees don't bother him at all. Um, he doesn't have to yo-yo his weight last year, going between the three and the four. Um, we were worried about him being too heavy to guard three men. Now he's stayed at one weight. Uh, he's had no, no pain in his knees so far, and uh, he, he looks terrific. He's in great shape and playing well. You've got an open scrimmage coming up on Saturday night at 6 o'clock, free admission. Uh, I guess you could treat that sort of as a milestone not, or, or a step in a uh, segment in your preseason practice. What do you want to accomplish between now and then, and what do you want to see on Saturday night once well, you get there? I, I want to see an effort level, Mike, and I don't want to see uh, us being sloppy with the basketball. I want to see us really do a good job taking care of the ball. And obviously, if we're playing hard, the effort is there, then that will probably translate into solid defensive. You have uh, split, when, when you do scrimmages here in practice, you split it up particularly between your veterans and your freshmen. Will you do that on Saturday night or will you do no, something different? No, I'll start to mix the teams. As a matter of fact, today I start mixing the teams a little bit. But the first three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we put all the freshmen and sophomores on one group. Well, not sophomores necessarily, but young guys on one group. I put all the veterans in another group. And of course, the veteran guys, they, they outplay them three straight days.